right, we are back. And our science just got done. So we're just going to start knocking out all of these processing ones that we don't need yet. Figuring we're going to need them at some point. And if you remember from last time we were here, we were looking on that new science and, well, it decided to be a real pain in the ass. Because we need tin and I was looking at the map. Our only tin is way down here. We're going to have to deal with these guys. Check and see if there's any more. Probably deal with those. I'm thinking that's one there. Um, but I was looking around the map as well. I really want to do some of my processing right here. But I don't have a way of filling in the water. And I'm like surrounded by cliffs right around here. But over here, next to my lead and my iron vein I currently have, which is another iron right there. And we also have coal over here. It's pretty nice and clear. The only other place that's really nice and clear would be down here next to the tin or up in here near that chromium and this is desert so um pollution is going to be worse because there's no trees but what I'm thinking is we're going to come out here and we're going to set up lead and iron processing right out here. And hopefully not have to kill those things, but I'll almost guarantee we're going to have to. Luckily, we've had our lead going for a while. I added some more miners out there, so we're getting more lead in now. Why are we having power failures? Are we actually running out of... Uh, no. Looks like we're actually running out of water. Well, that's actually a good thing to be the problem. Because that is easily fixed. That just means we need to add another pump to the line and probably take something off the line. Oh, wait a minute. No, we're running this on a closed circuit. We just need to get more water into the system. We don't even need a pump. We just need to do that for a moment. That'll put more water in the system. And we should be good to go. Now, question is, do we need to get a second cooling tower? Because that could be part of the problem, too. Uh, let's go ahead and just make another cooling tower just to be safe. I never did just figure out if one cooling tower was going to be enough for two power plants or not. Go ahead and put this in here just to be safe. that and that'll keep us two of them going that should keep us up on power then I was thinking we might have actually been running out of our tar but doesn't look like it doing good on power now so we'll just let that run and tar is getting really really low I love it. And I did finish getting all these 
pressure things hooked up last time. So we should have no issue until we are out of tar with coal gas. We've got every one of them making it and coal gas is nice and full on just about every one of them. And the ash is going away nicely to our warehouse up there. So everything is looking good so far. All right. Um, I did notice that I'm having an issue here where some of the iron oxide is getting past those because I have some on this line and I also have some on this line. So I'm going to have to redo the way I have that coming in down there some point I'm going to for right now just grab this off the line so I can keep an eye on it and see if it is filling back up or not now if I see any get through there I'll know that I have to fix it otherwise I'll know that it was just a Bit that got through while I was full on iron or something but I probably should still put something in there to fix it but today we're gonna start on iron processing we need to get to um, tin processing at some point for the science stuff but I want to get the basics done first so iron we put it into a jaw crusher, gives us three processed and stone. That's what we're doing now, which is eight to one plate. Concrete. Okay, so no matter what, this is our first step. So let's get a jaw crusher, which needs engine units. Now, question is, can we make engine units by hand, or do we have to automate making them? Dun, dun, dun. Yeah, it looks like we cannot make them in our inventory. So it needs iron and aluminum. Grab this. I'm going to. Right now, we're just going to set this damn thing right here. Oh, I just had the damn thing and I lost it. There it is. All right, so it needs pipes, which we already got pipes automated over there we also got gears automated right here so we can bring these down again I'll do a proper processing area with like a a bus or something eventually this is just to get me through for the moment And just come down here and grab up a bunch of aluminum. I don't need to worry about automating it in at the moment. Just kind of doing this in a down and dirty way right now until we get all of our processing places set up so we know where all of our material is going to be coming from and then we'll direct them all to one nice big open area that there box 
how about you put the box in the right place? All right, so how many engine units do we need? We only need four, so that's good. This won't take long to get done, even though this is a super slow-ass machine. I probably should change most of these assemblers over to the... Um, The factory things. Let's see. Iron or that. So you can be made in a regular assembler at one, but we can make it in one of those automated factories in 0.333. So if we put one of those down, which I don't have right now, I could actually get it done quicker, but I would rather. Wait until we get this iron stuff set up. So there's the first step. Is we're going to put it in here. And then we're going to get processed iron out. And we can then cook that in a foundry a lot faster than a stone furnace. So we're going to use a foundry. And it's going to be 3 to 1. So this is 5 to three so it's five to one from ore to plate doing it this way instead of eight to one the way it was before and we're actually going to get stone out of it as well it's like if we put borax with five of the ore and oxygen we can get molten iron out Five to ten, then we need sand casting and borax, which will give us sixty plates out of a hundred molten. That seems way better. And apparently we can actually cast gear wheels, iron sticks, pipes, pipe to ground. That's making steel with some coke, alloy. All right, so it looks like we really want to go this way at some point. Sand casting, we need creosote and sand. Creosote is easy enough to get. Sand is just soil and water, which will give us sand and tallings. The tallings we can mix with clay for our rich sand, our rich clay. Also make whatever that crap is eventually. If I remember correctly, somewhere we could use this for... Uh, we can actually use it to make... See, I was thinking you could use it to make the ar aromatics, but it doesn't look like it. All right. So eventually we're going to get into doing that, but right now let's just get this first bit set up here. So we needed the jaw crusher that I just made. And then we need a foundry and I already have the foundry our butts out here this will save us on our iron and should put it out faster as well and yes we have a long way to go to get out of here I might uh make some stone brick and lay it down give me a little bit of a road to get me out here at some point cuz yeah this is a bit of a trek the nice thing about it is I can reuse the belt that I have for the ore 
go ahead and just set the iron processing up right here in this area. Jaw crusher. The iron's going to come out there. We'll go ahead and just put it here. That's going to be for niobium, gravel, sand, uh, iron ore. There we go. And we're going to need to get some power over here. Direct this line up this way. Let the rest of that run. Okay, that's going to be where the inserters are. So we're going to run this across there, but we're going to cut it right there. This is just so I can have a idea of where I'm going to put more to expand it. couple of these in here. I'm quite sure I'm probably going to need the fast one, but we're going to try the slow one first just to see how fast this thing runs. Oh yeah, we definitely need the fast inserter for this. that on there instead and then I think I'm going to do thinking that I'm going to do it something like this because we've got two different uh, things coming out of here Rather than putting it out the top, I'm going to put it out the side here. Then I can put another one of these right here. That's what I'm preparing for already. And we can put that there. And this is giving us just regular stone. So... regular stone we want that one to go that way then to do whatever the hell it needs to do and then the processed iron will come this way and we will put the boundary right here again we're probably going to need one of these that in there cut that off so we're not having that issue and then this is going to be iron plate there we go that's going to do our iron plates and this one we can just have it output straight through the top. Send it out this way. Cut all of this crap back out of here, except we need to have this go for the stone. This.
and I'll run that back like so. Have those two run together right there back to the main. Although I may set up something out here to process the stone to whatever I need to process it to. But before we go getting too far into this, we need to get the belt changed over on the other end. Be able to grab some more engine units so I can make a couple more of those uh, claw things or jaw things or whatever the hell it was called. Alright, so this is where my iron was coming in at. I'm going to turn it here. Actually, you know what? Rather than do that, why don't... Right now... Why don't we just make a warehouse? Uh, where in the hell was that head storehouse warehouse and a depot I'm guessing the depot is the biggest one all of this out of here. One lone iron miner can just sit here and do what he's got to do. Worry about him. She's the only one we have left out of the basic area here. That one is done with its aluminum. Throw it over there. A little bit of iron right there, but that's on the one that's getting split. All right, let's just go ahead and make a full on depot. That thrown the iron for now will just get thrown straight in there. Um, how about you put it in the right place? All right, down and go in there. Have those. And let's go ahead and good thing we have some, huh? Go ahead and make three of them, and then I've got two more foundries. We'll see. We need to make more of them or not. Now we can go ahead and send that iron right on back, which it's on its way. Up here. 
then we can start looking at the lead. Get set up, and then we probably should work on the copper and the aluminum. Since we already have those being mined up. And then we'll go take a look at the tin. Alright, so actually it looks like this one is better than this can handle. So we might as well just put three more of these in here already. Now we need to stretch this out. That in there. Our holes in. There we go. Now we can go ahead and put this one in here. That looks right. What am I out of? Copper? How in the hell am I out of copper? I gotta run all the way back here again. Guess while we're doing it, let's get this stone sent back. Which I did notice when I back there that the iron goes right on the edge of the water. I have to be careful how I do this. Might get stuck. The stone over to the other side of this belt. At some point. Guess we can do right here. Any? The idea of leaving that gap there was so I could do undergrounds through there if I needed to, but. Well. How that worked out. Needed for something else now. A whole bunch of this copper. What was it I was making? Oh yeah, these. They apparently need a shit ton of copper. Good thing that's the next thing we're going to be fixing. Make the long trek back out here. I would have to say that's one thing a little bit different about Pionodons than normal is usually the starting area gives you enough resources to get a pretty decent start going. This one, you got to start venturing out. Pretty early. Although we're what? 10 or 12 streams in here? Or recordings in here? We're still rather early. Alright. So we'll just throw this one here. I'm going way down there because that's where I got the Lion ran to like an idiot. I 
I'm expecting at some point I'll have to put in another set, which I'll probably put down here. I actually should get rid of that. Throw them in there. Doesn't look like that's going to be enough to keep those three running full time. So let's get here. I think I'm going to move this line over just a little bit. That one there and then that one there. So I just need to move this. Fuck. Shit, I forgot to grab more. Got it. Damn things. Throw this iron in there, and then there. Shift like this. How's that doing? On oh, they need faster ones. Well, that would help if they could actually get the stuff out of there. Uh, let's go ahead and just put these right here. Come on, get your shit done. Oh, yeah, look, we may not even need to do... Now that we actually got the shit coming out of there. We may not even need to get these two running. Although, we're going to have to get more foundries, because... Obviously, this is a more efficient way of doing this, but it's also a way bigger process. It takes way more machines and way more stuff. But I'm probably going to start on that other stuff very soon. Um, oh shit, that's one block too close. Got to be there and there. That should do. Yeah, we're backing it up pretty damn good now. So we need to make some more foundries. Um, advanced foundries. Make five of them. While that's doing that, let's look at the lead. See what we need to process it. So lead ore to lead plate is what we're doing now. What we're gonna do next is gonna be five to one like that, and then that we can cook. Yeah, we can't do anything else with it right now so yep that looks like what we're going to be doing so we need the screener turn, turn, turn. something that looks like a screener There it is. We need more steel for that.
Stop standing on the belt, dumbass. It ain't gonna do you any good. Nickel process is in use done, so now we can start titanium processing. Titanium grade three for this thing to get all these done. Let's go ahead and go grab some steel. Done running. At some point, we're going to have to make a shed or warehouse or depot or something to put that rock in. Why are you not? Oh, hey, there's a pipe there. That's not going to fit all the way across. That flipping figures. Although I don't know if that pipe's needed because it didn't look like it had a fluid in it. That might be an extra pipe. i got to check that when we get back. Grab some belts and grab some steel. And when we're at it, we'll grab a little more copper. That lead, we needed the same thing, right? Grade one, and that's going to go in foundries too. Any of the other stuff, okay. And this one doesn't even look like it has the the molten stuff like the iron does. You may not have to worry about all the casting stuff for it. What I might actually do now that I think about it is I might wait to set up the lead. Maybe? Hmm. I'm just thinking I could use the foundries I'm putting in here for the lead when I get to that point. If I don't go and set it up right now. That's keeping them good and filled. All right. Well, we've had quite a bit of uh, longer episodes here, so I'm going to go ahead and cut this one now. And we will be back with... Probably setting up copper and then tin. I think we're going to leave the lead alone for right now. So, hope you guys enjoyed. 
I'll see you next time.